Hi, so please introduce yourself. My name is Sergi, nice to meet you. I'm a founder of Excite. Excite is a multiplayer AR adventures platform connecting metaverse experiences with real world scenarios. And uh, what do you show here? Uh, that's that's the Excite app. You can see like that's what's available through the camera app. You can uh, sort of you can see holograms on top of the cafeterias, in front of the places, and on top of the people's head. That's a, mo a hologram avatar, like in a multiplayer setting. Uh, there are different scenarios supported. Like let's say I go to the Red Hot Chili Peppers concert, and around the stadium there are album covers. You can collect them and get some tickets for free for for the concert. So yeah. It's a multiplayer and it's a platform, so anybody else can create adventures on our platform for businesses, for personal use cases, or if you have a passion about some type of sport or so something actually like it's that. Like, it's like Pokemon Go, but actually useful. Yes, exactly. In this dimension, you can communicate with the world through camera, with businesses through gamified scenarios, and it's not only useful, but it's also a multiplayer one. Multiplayer, Mean on the cloud, just in your app. Is it like an app that you can sell to other brands and they can use the technology behind for their events and everything? Yes, yes. Uh, other, other businesses can create an adventure on our platform and engage their audience, like adding digital sort of slice, digital uh, lay, layer onto the, this world. So we don't believe in a metaverse like some virtual realm where we live in as a shiny avatars. Instead, we believe that the main, the main slice, the main sort of level of the metaverse is this world, because everyone has digital information about them, every object has digital information, and with Excite we can communicate with this digital information in this world through the camera in a gamified way. On your video, it yes. looks very precise, everything. In the app, is it going to be that? How does it know that this person needs to have this thing on top? Oh, you is need to have an app and you enable. Or every person needs to be part of the app? Yes, yes. You will only see the hologram for people who enter the same game as you. And you sort of, you know how in the game, like in Fortnite, you have an, something on top of your uh, character, like an avatar on top of your character. So this avatar says your name or your, you know, YouTube link, whatever, whatever that is. That's the same, an avatar for the person inside the game. So yes, all the holograms for people, they have to be enabled. And yes, we recognize people on every single frame. And the good thing, you know what? We don't use facial recognition. Instead, we recognize people with our algorithm, which is called onion recognition, layer by layer, starting from location, followed by the style of your t-shirt, style of your shoes, and many other sort of visual characteristics, excluding your face. Does it work? Yeah. Because uh, this is like, it looks totally like uh, a, uh, the upload TV show or something. It looks like, uh, but how good does it look in real life? Let's let's see. <laughs> now I'm getting. <laughs> you nervous. have the app? Yes, yes, absolutely. It's live. It's and on... then your colleague is on it. I think so. Yes. Let me show you. You see the hologram? It appears. Yeah, it's an empty profile right now. We have plenty of profiles, and I can add him to my team, or I can. So I see. I say he's a business co-founder, and I can. You see, there are holograms on the street. Like you can. You can walk around the the, the, the the conference and collect some of them. And you can message him and say, hi, Dima, like, how are you doing, and things like that. And also, there are many, many other sort of uh, mini games, like like this is a Build Your Unicorn Team adventure. There are something if you want to find some food and drinks and things like that. So they should appear, yeah. Is he in the game too, or you just add anyone? No, we just no, no, no. We just we just talked, and uh, they downloaded the app and enabled this to be able to to to, to wow, recognize. really? It. Yeah. Uh, do you need uh, to know where the phones are? Uh, yes. Geolocation. Everybody's sharing the positions. In yes, the, yes. Until in you the turn outdoors it off. or inside. Yeah, that's a good point. We actually run a conference pilot, and some of those conferences was underground, so that didn't work at all well for us. So Can you use some kind stuff? of uh, Wi-Fi and stuff, uh, indoor GP, it like is, they use is, Bluetooth yes, uh, location possible, stuff? Yes, it is possible, but we don't use it. Right now we use GPS and we track where the camera is looking and we sort of, you can think of like what would be that point in, in, the, in, in, in the space if you solve some trigonometry and plus we recognize people and their sort of identity on each single frame like through machine learning on the edge. Like we don't send the images to the cloud to recognize it, we recognize it on the device. You could maybe add the, the conference, uh, what do you call it? Uh, when you like indoor navigation. Or what do you call it? Uh, uh, 
interacting and stuff like that. Like matchmaking? Yeah, exactly. matchmaking. Exactly, you can point the camera to me or to anybody else here and send me a message and we can start chatting on X side as well. Even uh, singles evenings. Exactly, that's and one can, of uh, the adventures dating. that can be created on our platform. So what we decided, we don't want to spread too much between use cases. We just concentrated on gaming and being a platform. So that sing singles or dating or conferences or anybody else, they can create whatever they want and whatever solves their business problem. And uh, we will help them. We will allow this sort of, you know, like a lens which you can use to enter this dimension. And you can switch to a different mode when you are close to a specific event. Yes, certain. And then you have this activated yes. only when you're there. Certain and when adventures you go are global. Else. And certain other certain adventures, for example, there is an adventure for this conference to build your unicorn team and pitch your startup. It's only available here. Previously, it was available on the TechCrunch Disrupt in October. So you were where? Where was the tech crunch disrupt in the U.S.? Yeah, yeah, it was in San Francisco. California. Yes. Uh, yep. And what did they think? Oh, it was quite successful. Like we found investors committed for six hundred thousand out of one million that we are raising right now, and uh, yeah, we came here to finish the round. Are they competitors trying to do something similar? Yes, we had a very strong competitor who. Uh, like I don't want to disclose their name, but they actually did the, exactly what we did, but with facial recognition. And because it's prohibited in European Union and in US, they got sued. They had to pivot to be a video editing tool, and they paid some, some fines. There are other competitors who do things for cars, or like for example, a company Blue Vision Labs. They did absolutely the same, but for the car, and they got acquired by company Lyft, which is a competitor of Uber in the United States. So yes. This technology is present on the market, but people use it in different ways, and we believe they try that to do it. it for cars. Yes, I mean uh, we can do this for cars as well. So when the lift car arrives, yeah, you can, can point you the camera and see which, which one is? is yours. Yes, yes, yes. It works already in lift. I think they're gonna they're launch about this it. soon. Yes, yes. They acquired the company, but they did not integrate this yet. Uh, how about somebody has another app idea and they want to use your technology, they can work with you together and do something else, or you want to be the app for everybody to use? Absolutely, they can create an adventure on our platform or they can contact us how we can help them to integrate with us. So right now the plan is to make the content cre uh, adventure creation as easy as possible so that you can just you know click, 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 or maybe even send a message to the chatbot and it will create an adventure for you. However, there was also an idea that you can embed our SDK inside somebody else's app, like in the dating app, and then they will see like a nice sort of heart-like pinkish avatars instead of our default avatars. Yeah, that is possible. That's not sort of right now in production. So you're the founder and CEO? Yep. And uh, is this your, your colleague? Yes, yes. This is Dmitro, our head of design. Uh, Dima, our head of design, and uh, Alex is my co-founder in Kiev. He is in Kiev in Ukraine, and uh, there is another person, he is not Where right now live? with us. I live in Sydney in Australia for the last five years. I'm Ukrainian, I moved to Sydney like five years ago. Dmitro lives here in Spain. Yeah. In Spain? Yeah, yeah. Which one is best, Sydney or Spain? Sydney, absolutely. <laughs> well, Why? the best one is Kiev in Ukraine, man. But it's a cold week. not right now, but yeah, the best one is Kiev. I love Kiev more than, 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 than Sydney. Uh, is it true that Ukrainian guys are the best uh, software engineers in the world? Well, that wouldn't be modest, and we were, you know, educated and uh, harnessed <laughs> in a way that, like, you have to be modest in your life. That's because this I, is pretty hardcore, this stuff. Yeah. And you're actually doing this. Yeah. You yeah. Two, I can, you I can guys. tell you. I can tell but you. But you have a huge team behind. No, that's an interesting part. I want to show this to you because that's all deserving. That's all because of my team. Like, right, that's sorry, me. Second. I'll turn this. Yeah. Right there. And maybe you can also explain a little bit your background and what you did before and stuff like that? Yeah, that's me. Uh, my name is Sergi. I worked at Atlassian and uh, I was always passionate about computer vision and here you go, like communicating with the world through camera. Alex, he built a game dev studio in Ukraine and he is still in, living in Kyiv, Ukraine. And the people on my team, like for example, Mikola, he worked at, he works at Google actually right now. We haven't started, you know, we haven't went into into full time track. He used to help us before Google. And Vitra is here. David Myberda, he is a very proficient machine learning expert. Uh, worked previously in companies like Reface, for example, and many others. So yeah, we've got quite an international team right now, internationally located. But however, they all are Ukrainians. This guy, by the way, Alexander Kirin, he is on the front lines. Uh, 
protecting oh, no. Ukraine right now. So yeah, yeah. he's also in Ukraine. Oh, okay. Um, okay. I uh, hope everybody stays safe. Yeah. Uh, and this finishes he, so you can uh, he's, focus he's on good. technology. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. Thanks a lot. This is awesome. Uh, I'd, I'd like to see more demos on your website, on your YouTube channel, or there is people can just download this and start playing with the app? Yes, yes, yes. The app is available. There is a couple of adventures, not thousands as I promised, but it's coming. You know, so there are a couple of adventures. It's available on the Play Store and Google, uh, and App Store. And uh, yeah, you can download it and play with it. And uh, we can exchange contacts and I can send you more videos. You know how uh, those funny guys who did uh, Pokemon Go, yeah. that kind of team, and the way they launched, as far as I understand, it's just some kind of AI that just added a bunch of Pokemons all over the world. They yeah. didn't have to manually go and start adventures. Yeah. Could you do something like that where it just works all over the world? It's already, already thousands of crypto coins, like coins that are going to be transferred into crypto already on the streets of Barcelona and Europe and the United States. So we did this. However, what they had is a very expensive franchise like a Pokemon. They also own Harry Potter franchise for gaming. So you don't need uh, that. I mean, yes and no. So when, when it gets to collect something, it kind of resonated very well with Pokemons. You know, you collected Pokemons in the original scenario. So yeah, it resonated well. However, we will go with just many custom adventures instead of like one big franchise. And then okay. the customer needs to pay to make an adventure? Yeah, yeah, as I, as I, as I told you before. Uh, general public can create adventures for free. And then, if you if you if you're passionate about soccer, that's free. Create an adventure, all good. But if you you can create more sophisticated adventure and charge for that, I take a cut, Excite takes a cut. And then, if a business wants to create an adventure, they have to assign coin value into three-dimensional objects, and they have to buy those coins from us. That's how we charge businesses into B two B, but not as an advertisement. So we are not targeting this to particular users. Instead, we allow those businesses to sort of engage with their audience in a new way, like through the camera. So you using crypto also? Yes, yes, it's a Web3 yeah. powered startup. Yes, yes, yes. And But you could do stuff without the crypto? If people want not to use crypto or everything is crypto? I mean, yeah, obviously, like those games for businesses, they don't have to be crypto and they can be like just a virtual sort of currency within the app. Like for example, uh, if you if you if you want to create an adventure, you just just pay a certain amount of money. You get those like number of objects that you can use in your app. So, meaning if you are a small coffee shop in Barcelona, you will only pay this, you know, for a small adventure because you want to attract like 500 people, maybe a thousand people. But if you are a McDonald's, you want to attract maybe 100,000 people, or you know, make them more happy about your products. So you're gonna pay more because of like wider scale of such adventure. Cool. Thanks a lot. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.